Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Rocket League Season Challenge where the Chudley Cannons are 5-1. And, and you might be thinking, wait a minute, 5-1? And, and the answer is that our computer did a boo-boo and deleted two episodes and it turns out we won all those games. And uh, yeah, now here we are. <laughs> well, the, the good news it didn't is delete the episodes. Ah. Right, it deleted the audio associated with the episodes. But the good news is, if you would like to watch us win those four games, spoilers, uh, they will be available over <laughs> on our Patreon, patreoncom backslash Gaming. Yeah, you won't be able to hear us talking, but you can see us play, and that's yeah. almost as good, maybe even better. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just dive uh, on in? Maybe, let's do it. Maybe we should just dive on in and hope nothing Bomb the bombers. borks. Yeah, Aqu home, home stadium. Here we go. The oh Aquadome. We parked right. the ship right up top. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, wish could, I, see, I wish you could see it. It's quite a ship. I mean, it doesn't float. It's really... <laughs> we, had, we had to put it on an island. Yeah. Took me, took me a second to get that. Brain is just not working yet. Because the boat does not float. Oh, right. We song. have a boat. It doesn't float. Boom, boom, boom. boom. We, we are, are not pirates. pirates. There you right. go. You know, it's really it's really okay, because I don't feel like we were singing the song enough during our uh, last four matches. And this I gives agree. us an opportunity. Center ball. Oh, boy. Well, it's coming in high. It's coming in high. So our first question today is from Definitely Not Undying Awesomeness. Sure, sure. He Definitely says, not. hey, brothers, Jay, Ben, DK, and Jordan. I need advice. Oh, yeah. I have a friend and sometimes feels like he's using me for my cool stuff. My oh. Nintendo Switch, my iPad, etc. Uh -oh. What should I do? Oh man, okay, so the, uh, this, I, I think we've all had uh, an experience with this at some point or another in life. I know I certainly have. Um, when I was a kid, I felt like uh, the internet was the thing someone was trying to take advantage of me for. So we, we had uh, good internet? We had, we, yeah, we had good dial-up, you know? Uh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, you could be on the phone and the internet at the same time. I'm pretty sure we had better internet. Maybe we were just at a place where, like, he wasn't grounded or something. I don't know. <laughs> Which seems like maybe he shouldn't have been allowed to come over either. Yeah, Whatever. no, it definitely seems like that. I think it was just the internet. The answer is, though, that, like... So what you want to make sure of here is that, like... It, it's... Uh, uh, sometimes, like, you just have stuff that, you know, your friends don't have, and that just, it's, it's an opportunity for them, you know, it's, it seems cool. Um, so the question is, are they coming over, like, are they only your friend because of your stuff, or are they your friend who also, like, oh, benefit, look what you've got. Right, 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 like, it's almost, it's almost interesting, because I was thinking about it, like, if, uh... If, like, everybody in life's goal was to eventually own a Lamborghini, it's like, do you then become upset in the event that you're like, do people only like me because of my Lamborghini? <laughs> it's like, it's like you worked so hard to get it, and the whole purpose of having such a cool thing is so that other people think it's cool. <laughs> right. And for the thrill of the ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Those car guys this ain't no there. ten second race. That's a Tokyo Drift reference. Um, Great movie. Oh yes, and of course it's a classic. Yeah, possibly the best in the series. Possibly, not even possibly. Unpo definitely. Unpopular opinion <laughs> alert. No, no, no. I don't think uh, I don't think it's an unpopular opinion. As, not as not a, amongst Tokyo Drift fans. Oh no! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, it's possible that I might have been the kid that took advantage <laughs> of other people's internet. So I, don't uh, know. I will say that growing up, we used to play a game called Tiberian Sun. Oh, oh this was, yes. yes, Tiberian great, Sun great. was. I know exactly. Was Diablo 2 before I had ever found Diablo 2. Those of, those of you who know me well know that I love Diablo 2. Uh, but Tiberian Sun, what is, what is even the best way to describe that style of game? I don't even oh, know. Oh, it's like real-time strategy. It's a, a real-time strategy, yeah. It's a real-time strategy game, exactly like I was saying. Um, <laughs> but, so we had it on our home computer, and it was one of these things where our home computer was so bad and so slow that it was almost impossible to beat the computer because, I, I don't know, because our functionality just wouldn't work as fast. We didn't have good internet, though. We didn't have good internet. Um... But we went over to one of Jay's friend's houses one day, and I think it was one of these things where they had it on their computer, and I was like, hold on a we second. We did not know what we were missing. Like, right. we just thought the game was played at this horribly slow speed. Right. It, it was like the first time that that the, like technology ever became so relevant to me. 
<laughs> that that there's such a difference between something good and something bad. Um, yeah, and, I know exactly. Yeah, and it was just like this, dude, can, can we just sit here and play this game on your computer? Because at our house it sucks. <laughs> he also had a trampoline, though, was that the other true. end of it. And it ah. was like, not only did he have the best internet, but he also had a trampoline. And then it was kind of like, can we just become best friends? But also your reason for being there was because you were friends with him. And like, is, he yeah, still absolutely. enjoyed all of the things. So. That is yes, true. yes, exactly. So the real question is, like, are these people coming over and are they like... Asking to use the stuff and then almost like foregoing hanging out with you, or right. are you guys just hanging out together by using your stuff that you have? Right. Well, it's so weird because I was thinking, as I think about this as an adult, there's often situations where you're buying stuff specifically so people will come like hang out with you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. No, now, for sure. now I have a thing people will want to come over for. Like it's such a reversal as an adult, but when you're a kid, yeah, it makes such a difference. Oh, I wonder if that, that comes from any level of, like, being the person who actually bought the thing versus just being, like, the ah, person the thing was bought for. Ah, uh, sure. That's um, interesting. Yeah. Uh, because when you bought it for yourself, it becomes a characteristic of who you are. You are right. someone who bought a Nintendo Switch. Right. Um, but, right. like, if your parents <laughs> bought it for you and you just happen to have it, then it can be this thing where, like, people might... I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh it's a my god, I can't believe I, I just missed that. It too. Oh, uh, oh my gosh. I mean, it's a little consumerist of a perspective, but that's absolutely true. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I don't disagree at all. No! Oh, okay. I was. I was hoping for the shut up. Yeah. Know, yeah. I was right here. I even jumped. I it just. It, this is like oh, a, man. a frame above my car, right? You can watch it. Oh. oh or maybe I was a half man. second late. Yeah. Jeez, okay. Sure. Oh well. Here we go. Uh oh. Ooh, I, I almost, almost, like, like, oh, that is, almost just there. changed my yeah. Yeah. Hey, Woo. There it is, Derek. Nice follow-up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any boost. I'm like... Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 I'm so slow. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, like, Derek, I would say, like, you have quite a few board games. Like, that's oh, sure, a, it's yeah. almost like a characteristic of you, like, yeah, as a friend. It's, it's something that you bring to the table. Um, Literally. We're, we're still, if someone, <laughs> <laughs> someone was like, hey, let's play board games, I'm like, sure, what do you want me to bring? Right. It's, it's not a question of, like, if you want me to bring it, what, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. uh, oh, oh, I was going to get two in there. Good um, Anyway, yeah, yeah, no, I, I think that you're, you might be onto something with the, if it was something that you purchased versus something that you just happened to have at your house like it feels different. Right. Well, and, and so I would say that was in, in large part my experience with this is like growing up as a kid I was not like a particularly big video game person but our dad was amazing about always like surprising us at Christmas with the latest console mm -hmm. that's come out mm -hmm. and so we always had like the Nintendo 64 when it came out the Sega Genesis when it came out sure. you know like yeah whatever it was we the always PS2. had the one and um and I think for our dad, it was, like, the most fun thing. Like, he would, like, tell the story about how he, like, yeah. met the person in the parking lot. Because, <laughs> like, you know, like, when sure, the sure, whole make sure that he got it. Right. right. The, my, the my treasure that one year with, befriended uh, the mall employee. I think and, with yeah. uh, the N64 when it came out. Uh, they gave us the games before they gave us the, uh, oh, the, no, the, the thing. We're like, Wait Mom, a you're stupid. We can't play <laughs> these. <laughs> This is a really good game, but I can't play it. And like, we were all upset. Oh, that's so funny. Me. So it wasn't spoilery. No, it wasn't oh spoilery. They were, they were screwing with us. Uh, <laughs> that is so and funny. Like, and surprise, here's the N64. Oh my gosh. That's all in the present. Like, I can see that being like, okay, the, I, the, are, these don't go with like, your Genesis? Yeah, exactly. This isn't right? I yeah. thought these were, I thought <laughs> these were for the SNES. We'll, yeah. we'll just have to return them. Okay. Oh, oh my sorry. gosh. <laughs> I want to play Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh man. All right, look, with the win streak continue six and one. All right, let's let's go on to the single arches. What? Well, let's let's go on. Let's then. go on. Let's say. <laughs> Jay, are you even happy about six and one? <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it wasn't a good transition. It really, I won't lie. It, it wasn't. It, it was wasn't. almost as bad as you asking for comments on a video. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you guys make it to the end of these episodes, <laughs> Jay is just abysmal at, at asking for your words of, is, uh, uh, of question. That is, you're not, not good at it. Oh it's man, that now. was the worst attempt at a center ever. It went in the the nah. polar. Polar, I almost said polar opposite direction, but I feel like that would almost mean. The no, could it? Could it? No. Okay. no. So that would uh, be quite a shot. Oh, no, I missed. Polar opposite, somewhat redundant to say. Yeah. 
Oh Ooh. man. I mean, I, I know I know that we've been talking about this console thing forever, but I do want to tell the story of the year we got a PlayStation Two. Oh. Um. This, this, go for it. This was a particularly good one on our dad's part. Like we were talking about how he how we always like had the story. Um, so we would celebrate Christmas on like the 21st because our entire extended family like lived up north. So we would have like a big long drive that we have to go. Thing. I'm gonna do the thing, guys. I'm doing the thing. Go! <laughs> ben, 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 ben. Woo! Oh, wait a bend, Ben. Wait a bend. I try. Yeah. I try. How you been? Um, but so we would go up and we would celebrate Christmas with our extended family in New York, and uh, it meant that we had Christmas early. So our dad, our dad, had, like befriended the guy at the video game store, and I think had like had him call him as soon as one came in, which happened to be, like, literally after we had opened gifts and we were on our way to New York, our parents, like, pulled off Boom. in the like, in the Best Buy parking lot, or the mall parking lot, yeah. and we're just like, what are we doing? Like, this is ridiculous. And our dad just, like, goes in, and <laughs> come, comes back out, and he's like, I have one more gift for you guys. Bam. Oh, man. And it was just like, that's true. Oh, was, no. It, ben, that's not even the whole story. Oh, well, can know the whole story. Continue the story for I will. Okay, so, as you say, uh, our dad was pretty good at, like, finding whatever, like, the, the, the Christmas gift was, which is a, a thing I don't feel like even happens anymore, where there's, like, a, a must-have Christmas gift. Oh, I wish it was, though, because it was so, there was so much excitement. So, anyway, the thing was, that year was the PlayStation 2, was, like, the big gift. And so, one night, our dad is a TV anchor, and one night on the news he was like, just talk, did a story just about like whatever the top gifts were that year. And some kid at school uh, was convinced that we were getting one. And so every single day I would come into English class and we'd go, oh man, you're getting a PS2 for Christmas. And I was like, I really don't think I'm gonna. And uh, so it turns out that dad was in fact on the hunt, but mom had talked him out of it. No oh, way! Really? So they, she was like, I just don't know if they need more video games, like that <laughs> story, whatever. And, uh... I did not know this Oh yeah, this, this was part of it. So this mom had talked... So yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> mom... Yeah, no, no. Um, mom had talked him out of it, and we are uh, leaving... He had, he had found it, and the guy had called him, and he said, never mind, it's okay, we're not gonna do it. So... Uh, then, as you said, we had already opened gifts, and we were going to New York to go see all of our extended family, so we were getting checked out of early from school. And would you not know it, that as Dad picks me up from school, the kid from my English class happens to be walking by, and he goes, and he just, like, yells out the same thing he's been saying for the last month, which is like, oh man, you know, you're gonna get that PS2 or whatever, and Dad overhears it and he goes, what was that about? And I was like, oh, this guy's just been like telling me every single day that you said on the news that you were going to get us one or whatever. And like, in the meantime, this is like, I didn't believe it, but it had been like building my hopes up. And so dad hears this and all of a sudden he just feels horrible. No <laughs> way! Yeah. So he's like, oh my gosh. So then he calls the guy at the mall back and is like, hey, I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I need, do you still have freaking it? Freaking way. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, oh my gosh. It makes my heart story. hurt for dad. I know. Oh my gosh, because Dad was so good at this stuff. Like, it, it sucks to think that there would ever have been a moment where he he felt like he had, like, let us down or something. Sure. Right. Aww. Oh, man. But, Dang, what a cool no. story to yeah, hear, so, like, yeah. whilst playing video games. I know. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad, it was all worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's, uh, that's the story of how we got our PS2. I think that's nice. But then, the rest, of, uh, funnily enough, the place that was selling it didn't have any games for the PS2, so we had a PlayStation 2, but we weren't going to be able to get any games until we got back from New York. So in the meantime, I think we were just playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, which is a PlayStation 1 game, oh, on our um, new PS2 <laughs> yes, for, like, I, for like a week and a half. Tony, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 was great. Yeah, great game. It's like, a, it's just like, oh. Ben, oh, Ben, 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 I love being in, in victory formation. Single <laughs> arches, man. They are out of practice. I don't think we played them last season. Oh, oh well. Bad yeah, for that. It's a very good story. It yeah. was a great story. Yeah. Should we get to a question, maybe? Maybe, oh, maybe. maybe. Well, I mean, that, we, that was, it was part of the that, first question. Yeah, yeah. that was a, honestly, that was, that was honestly. a great story. It was a really fun story, and it got more fun hearing the, the second half of it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so here's a question from Danny. And she says, hey, J, Ben, DK, and Jordan. Danny from editing is everything. Uh, uh, no, it is Danny. Woo! 
Um, shout out to editing is everything. Shout out. Yeah. Right? Uh, her episode Friday was real good. Um, so I recently oh. started school, and we have a new girl, Amy, and my group of friends kind oh. of adopted her. Um, however, our friend, she, she didn't give names. I'm just giving names because otherwise it's really confusing. Right. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, okay. okay. My friend... Is that Amy Smith? Amy <laughs> Smith. It doesn't matter. Um, we know oops. you. Oh, no! What happened? Uh, I missed. Okay, so my group of friends adopted Amy. However, my friend Candy doesn't like her. Candy. And my best Candy. friend... Need a, a B name. I don't know. Brandy. Uh, Brandy. Brandy, Brandy. Candy, and Amy. Sure. Uh, we've got an A, B, C, <laughs> and a D. Candy, Candy, and... Oh, These uh, girls are destined for... <laughs> college. Yes. <laughs> 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 exactly. That's exactly what I meant, yes. That was their How did I score? What the heck? Because they just bumped it in themselves. Look at this. This is your shot. It's definitely not going this in. Me keeping it in play. Until, until Sultan <laughs> here comes in and says, I Sultan, give up. <laughs> Sultan with the dunk. Thanks, buddy. Let's <laughs> um, go for that slaughter rule. Yeah. So my best friend does like Amy, but our other friend does not. And my best friend is now saying that she doesn't want to be friends with our other friend who doesn't like the new girl. And I don't know what to do. Also, my birthday party is coming up, and everyone expects to be invited. Oh okay. man. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, this so is, how many? This is a lot of here? people we're dealing with here. The the question asker oh, plus three others. Oh, shot. Wow. It's just a lot of people. It's basically like, how do you break up with a friend, and should I break up with a friend? Yeah, but no, yeah, maybe it's not we should break up with a friend. There's a new friend you just don't like, right? Yeah. That's basically it. Uh, yeah, it's just like when your yeah your friend group has adopted someone maybe you're not thrilled with, but your other best friend is thrilled with. Right, right and it's right. making you feel awkward. I, I think I think the short version of that. I think that there's a little bit of like change is difficult happening here, where mm -hmm. like it probably has affected the group dynamic in a way that like was a little unusual. Um, and so part of me is almost like maybe just be patient and like don't necessarily lock into a decision here because you might just end up being friends with. Yeah. yeah that's like, typically, favorite. your friends' friends are going to be your friends. That was the old yeah. high and slow, y'all. I was there. I just didn't know how to get up for it. Oh, it's all right. It's all Check right. It Check it out. It's, like, super high, super slow, 12 miles per hour. Ball. The old high and slow. You even bounced into the upper 90 there. Yeah. Um, ben. Ben. Ben, do the thing. <laughs> ben is going to Ben. No, that's a fair point. Oh, no, 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 If you are friends with your friends, which I presume you are, uh, Look at that's a no war. I got it. What? <laughs> uh, if you're friends with your friends, then chances are you'll be friends with your friends' friends because your friends' friends are probably like you. Yeah. Yes, and I have I have also found this to be true with um, other people that your ex has dated. Oh, right? Oh. Where you're so like, oh, yeah, this yeah. jerk, he's just like <laughs> you, he's just like, oh, yeah, Of course he's just like you, yeah, right? <laughs> right, it's like... Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, if she liked you and him, it means you probably <laughs> also like him. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I, but you I, probably also don't. Right, yeah. You pro <laughs> there's probably also, like, rules as to why not. But yeah. I, I have found uh, one of my best friends in college for, for a good period of time was um, one of my ex's ex. And um, we just all became super close. Yeah. Ah! Could it be? Could it be? Could it's, it be? Oh, no. I think no, I'm pumped up. I'm pumped up. No. I think that was my fault. I, I, uh, you, you still won. Can't that's be. not the point. Uh, the, point, point the point is, is the I last know. second goal is always so sweet. Now, I do understand this problem where, like, there, sometimes there's a friend in the friend group where you're just like, I cannot stand you. And the answer is you have to stand them. It's like, it's, it's, uh, it's always better to just go to the functions and if, you know, if, you, if they really bother you, then you just try and hang out with the other people there. You know, like, that's all, that's all I can say. But it's right. but putting up a big fuss and, like, trying to exclude this person is not going... You're going to end up the bad guy no matter what. Right. What's, yeah. yeah, what's going to happen is that, yeah, you're going to come across as mean and... Yeah. And, and probably ultimately end up being left out. So I think the easy, the easy solution there is go, hang out with your friends. And the good thing is, is that it's a group. Which means that, like, you can hang out with your Fair other friends off. without having to, like, have one on one discussion. Yeah. That's right. That's. I so, think so it's, 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 well. it's with. I think we did. It's uh, for the birthday party, right? So I think just invite everybody. You still invite have to invite everybody. them. Yeah. Yep. yeah. You still have to do it. Um, 
I get it. But there's a lot of there's a lot of news travels fast, and you didn't get included, and this person wasn't invited, and oh, I mean, man. I don't know what your birthday party is. If you're going somewhere like a destination, like a theme park, and tickets are expensive, then you know that's the, yeah, a different that, that's story. Right. If, if they're coming over for cake, yeah, if you, can, over you can afford cake, to give them a slice of cake. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Actually, I did have this happen one year. I think I maybe even talked about it, but I had my MRE birthday party. Sure. And there was a MRE birthday party. Thing. I did. Yeah. Like meals ready to eat. I, MRE? Yeah, yeah. yeah. MRE, which is like army food. It's like comes in like you know no, like little boys like army. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah, exactly. Like so like we were party. we were camping in the backyard and having like a campfire and like we were eating MREs and like I went to the army supply store with my dad and bought mm-hmm. one for everybody and I was really excited to like have MREs and uh, I had one friend who like not, it, it was probably a very similar situation. It was like that person who sat with us at lunch who I wasn't super close with, who I knew was ultimately going to have to end up coming. And sure enough, he gets there, and he's like, well, I don't want to eat an MRE. I want pizza. And I was like, uh, this what? Is why I didn't want and, like, to play, yeah. and so then it ends up being this thing. Like, who doesn't love pizza, obviously? But, right. like, it, it ended up being a thing where I was all excited about my MREs. We ended up ordering a pizza to accommodate this kid who didn't want to eat the so MRE. One kid? And then everyone and, ate pizza. And then everybody ate pizza because, because it's pizza. pizza. Yeah. And then like I'm sitting there with like my MRE like pasta noodles. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You know. like just that water. <laughs> <laughs> Which was easy yeah. with the amount of tears coming out of my face. <laughs> oh man. What a jerk. I know. All right. I agree. I agree. So, uh, in, uh, invite the person to your party, but don't order pizza. Exactly. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, Guys, exactly. thank you so much for watching. You're going to hear me give a real bad recommendation to leave a like on this video and comments. <laughs> And uh, maybe even subscribe if you want to. Yeah, yeah. if you want know. to. I know yeah, that was such a terrible delivery, but there, <laughs> but, is, there it is. All but the it, same. It, but it seems to work. It happened. It we happened. just ha- we just have a low bar. That's that's it. It's <laughs> like the request. We have such tuned in fans is really what it comes down to. Mm. Is that our request for questions can be as minimal as possible, and they'll still throw as many of them at us <laughs> no as we can doubt, possibly no get. No doubt. They've just, already hit the like button. We're not even reminding them. They're like, I already clicked the episode. I hit that like button immediately because. I love the Chudley Cannons. Boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates. pirates. See you next time.